Hey guys, John here from Blind Man Walking and today we're going to do a guide dog equipment video. I have Neeson, who is naked. I have Neeson right here. Neeson is my third dog, guide dog. He is a Labrador Retriever, yellow lab, and he's, his butt is facing the camera right now. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I see a lot of videos on YouTube, I hear a lot of videos on YouTube um, that are made by guide dog users who do guide dog haul videos. So basically what their guide dogs leave the house with when they go out working. Um, and it's, it's quite interesting the different um, things that people put on their dogs and bring with them for their dogs. There's the, the leash pouch, the harness pouch, the waist pouch with treats for the human to feed the dog when the dog does good things. There's all these different bells and whistles that people bring with them to use on their dog at some point during their day. Um, I'm a minimalist at heart and I'm gonna show you what I leave the house with when um, when Nisan and I leave to start our day. Um, typically, we work from home. Well, I work from home. <laughs> Nisan does not. Um, however, he, he does have a fair bit of work during the week. Um, so I'm gonna start with Nisan's collar. This is a, a collar from Smelly Dog. Um, I'm not promoting them, I'm just, Telling you who makes the collar. Um, it is waterproof. It is made from some, some kind of soft plastic. Um, so when I got Neeson, he came with a martingale collar. So a martingale collar, for those of you who do not know, is half choke chain, half nylon. Very, very effective, very good collar. His just broke. Um, and to be honest, um, I never used the collar to correct him often anyway, so it wasn't necessary for him to, to be in one of those collars. So yeah, Smelly Dog, it just clips together. Um, it's got the type of clips that you would see on a backpack or like a life jacket. So they just clip one end, clips into the other end, boom. Um, he has a tag on his collar, has his name and phone number, um, and that he's a guide dog. I have a rabies tag for him somewhere, I need to find it, it fell off. Gotta find that or replace it. So that's his collar. Typically he wears that every, uh, all the time, but because of this video I just took it off. Next we have his leash, so again, this is not the guide dogs for the blind uh, standard leash, that also broke. Now, these leashes are excellent quality. Um, <laughs> I played tug of war with Neeson and his leash, something, don't do, don't do that at home. I'm not recommending you do that, it's just some, something I do with my dog. And long story short, over four years, give or take, it just wore down and broke. So this is a new leash. My partner Colin actually found this for me. It says bark if you're Irish. It's pretty short. Oh, Rufus, or Dane is gonna come and interject himself into the video. Hello, Rufus. I'll show you how to put the leash on using Rufus. So basically it's a clip. Come here, Rufus, come here. Um, it's a type of clip that you would have on a carabiner. So you push it in, which opens the, the clasp, just like that. Oh yes, you're ready to go, but we're not going. You're very rude interrupting my video, mister. So this is Rufus. He is not a guide dog. He is not a guide Dane. Um, okay, you need to vamoose, sir. So yeah, this is, <laughs> oh my God. Oh, Rufi, this is Neeson's leash. It's it's a bit shorter than the the standard guide dogs for the blind leash, and you cannot adjust it. Um, it is nylon. Oh my God! When it rains, it pours. Here comes another dog. So 
This is Rufus, our Dane. I'm gonna push him aside. This is Louis, our Great Pyrenees Master of St. Bernard Cross. He is black and white, and he also is very camera photogenic. Hello. Okay, the last and most important piece of equipment that Neeson has wrestling dogs this morning is his harness. Now, <laughs> so Neeson's harness. This is the guide dogs for the blind harness. It says guide dog on the front right here. And I think it says it too, maybe um, here on the handle. Not sure. Um, the thing I love about this harness is I'm a tall guy, so I ha the harness handle is very long. You can unclip it like this. So when I'm on a bus or an airplane or in close quarters, um, e even sometimes in an elevator, I can unclip the handle. It just makes it way more functional. The harness handle is not sticking out and hitting people or objects. So. This is the harness. I'll show you how it goes on him. Neeson, come here. Up, 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 up. Let me manhandle him into position. Yeah, come here, come here. Okay, so the harness goes <laughs> over the head like this. <laughs> Rufus. And then it just buckles under his chest, like so. And you'll see the handle clips in like this. Like that. Put his collar on. And I'll put his leash on and he is good to go. So the one thing you'll see or notice or hear because I'm going to tell you is there Neeson has no leash pouches or collar pouches or I don't have a treat pouch for him. Um, it's just extra stuff to, to it's just extra stuff that you have on you or it's extra stuff that you have to bring with you. So I have pockets in my pants or my jacket. So in my pocket, I'll typically have my keys. Um, I'll typically have a couple of dog bags. I'll have some treats for Neeson. Um, and that's it. 